tonight I'm going to give you a short testimony of an answered prayer in my life. God is always listening, and He will answer your prayer in a way that will have the most impact on you. And I'll tell you exactly what I mean with the story. I'm not going to leave. I'm going to leave a lot of detail out and description now because I'm not sure what my job would appreciate or not when I tell the story. Um, for a long time, maybe a couple of years now, a lot of changes have been happening to our plant out there, and management changes, personal changes, procedure changes, just a lot of things that we're not used to. Things have been the same way for a long time, and a lot of people don't adapt to change very well, especially old men like me. And um, it's made morale low, everybody's disgruntled, everybody has bad attitudes. When I say everybody, I mean everybody, every single one of us. The, the new changes in our plant um, don't really care. You know how we feel about it they want us to adapt and make the best of it well which really we, sh we should probably do that but it had not been the overall reception of it so um i've known my attitude's been sour out there i've hated going to work i've hated being there just give me the paycheck and leave, leave me alone you know what i'm saying so i began praying a few weeks back uh, lord help me with my attitude help me to be a better influence at work help me to do all these things that i i was the opposite of but i know i needed help because i was miserable and I prayed this several consecutive nights, maybe you know, several weeks in a row. You know, nothing ever changed. I didn't feel any different the next morning or night, depending on what it was. And about two and a half weeks ago, there was an accident at work. I won't use any, I won't go into any detail on it. I'm not sure that I can, but I got injured in it. I busted my face up and broke my finger on my right hand. And I haven't had a broken bone in my whole life. It took 45 years to get my first one, but it happened. I thank God nobody else was hurt, just me. I can accept that, you know. I'll take the brunts, but nobody else has to. Uh, but out where I work, safety is a huge issue. So the first thing that you think about when you get hurt is, is it gonna affect my job status? Am I gonna lose my job? And that happened to me. I'm thinking, am I gonna lose my job? How am I gonna support my kids? How am I gonna live? Am I gonna do all these things if I don't have my income? And it shocked me that that's what I was thinking because I this is a place that I've hated going to for so long. Well, now I'm scared to death of losing it, right? And I began thinking if if I can just maintain my job or keep my job, then, you know, it'll be a huge relief and a huge weight off my shoulders because it was weighing down to like a ton of bricks. After several meetings and a couple decisions, I did get to keep my job and everybody else that was involved did too. And we get to learn from this mistake and move on. Now, the answer to prayer comes from me asking for weeks and weeks for a better attitude, um, better disposition to be a better influence on others. And boom, this happens. And once I realized if I didn't have my job, how things would change so much in the negative for me and my kids, it did change my perspective. So now when I wake up in the morning, I'm grateful to have what I have. I have a much better outlook on it. I'm, I'm more susceptible to the change. I'm, I'm willing to, uh, more than willing to, you know, do the things that are asked of me with a smile on my face. And it's really weird. And I know that's an answered prayer from God. You may not think so. Maybe you'll think it's just coincidence that happened that way. But I'm telling you right now, if I prayed, for a better attitude, you know, and better disposition of my job and all that. And that happens. And, you know, something tragic happens. It's not really tragic, but, you know, an injury occurs. And you think for a second, well, I'm not going to have this job anymore. However, they can turn 180 degrees. Just like that. That's an answer to prayer, folks. That's how it works in my life. So anyway, I wanted to share that testimony with you. That um, God does listen to your prayers and he does answer your prayers. Probably not in the way that you want him to. But he's going to do it in a way that has a long-lasting effect and that will get your attention. That's what he did to me. And it's amazing to me um, how God works in your life. If you want to go back and watch my video that I titled Pride about three or four weeks ago, I have another testimony just like this one in there. And I love sharing things that God does in my life. And I hope that you get to experience some of these things too. I, I suggest you keep an open eye when you pray for things. And... Um, Watch how God works in your life and how he can do things for you uh, that may seem terrible at first, but end up having long-lasting positive effects on you. Have a great night. God bless you.